it's Bernadette. I am here with your Aries tarot reading for January 2021. Um, for those of you who are just uh, joining us, I read from my own award-winning Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, which is based on the Rider Waite Tarot, all those traditional tarot card meanings, and it infuses all the powerful energy of the Spirit Totem Power Animals to give you like a kablamo of a reading. So let's dive right in. Holy cow, you guys, the card that came out for Aries today for your January 2021, your tarot reading, oh, rooster, the three of wands. Now, does Aries need any more fire in its life? Does Aries need to strut any more proudly? I don't know, but it is. So when we take a look at Aries, it, the Aries zodiac sign, its motto is I am. The birthday is March 21st through April 19th. And these people, you guys are just the ultimate fighters of injustice. And God love you. You really inspire the world because you gift it with, with just a shining example of uncommon courage. So this month, you Aries may feel like you're on top of the world. Well, that's because Rooster is working with you um, and the Three of Wands is working with you to make sure that, you, um, that you're sure to have your voice heard because that's what Rooster is all about. And when you take a look at the traditional meanings of the Three of Wands, uh, in, you know, in, their, in that tarot card meanings, what you'll see is a fellow standing there. He's the same guy that was in the Two of Wands, but now he is, and by the way, the Three of Wands is actually associated with the Aries uh, Zodiac sign, which is hilarious that it came through. And I'm, but also, by the way, I've had a bunch of you guys write me about crystals. I'm not a crystal expert. Um, but I, you know, I do a lot of research and of course I have the crystals that I love floating all around here, uh, which is usually polychrome Jasper. But, uh, my second favorite is carnelian and the healing crystal for Aries could be anything fiery, but I choose carnelian when I'm working with anybody that's an Aries zodiac sign. So when you take a look at the fella in, um, you know, in the Rider weight three of wands, what you see is that he's come to rely on his own skills and his chest is swelling with pride, just like you see with the rooster. There's no shame in that. My gosh, you've worked your little Aries fiery tail off. You know what? Take a bow. It's totally fine. But you, you you're going on another journey. You've left behind the um, safety of your castle that was in the two of wands. And now you're setting sail trading kind of like you're like, okay, I've accomplished all of this. There's got to be more to learn in life. And so you set off kind of on a, a quest, almost a hero's journey. I talk about that a lot, the hero's journey, because really what else is life but a hero's journey. And you, you're, you're almost taking on the role of a student. And you're like, okay, well, how's that going to work out? I'm going to leave this where I'm comfortable. And I'm going to go towards this where I just really don't know what I don't know. Ha! It's going to work out great. So whatever this thing is that you're considering um, through January 2021 or, you know, as you move into the year for this particular tarot reading, uh, I would say take the month of January. You know, yes, you've got the energy of the new year and all the great expectations that come from that, but you're being supported so much by the Three of Wands tarot card and the rooster, um, you know, spirit, totem and power animal. You know, certainly I can't guarantee you won't fail, but it's looking pretty good. Now, the other, the other thing you've, you're really being asked to remember when you look again at the traditional meanings of this particular tarot card, the three of wands, you'll see that he's leaning on one staff. And what that's a, a symbol of the symbolic meaning of that is that he's got the skills to support him. And, and like literally he's got the skills to support him. And then the staff on the left is the promise that he's going to get even better at what he does. And <clears throat> pardon me, I gave a lot of readings this past year, as you might imagine. <clears throat> pardon me one second. And um, man, I, I mean, obviously it's the year of change. Last year was the year of change for everybody. But I was really surprised at how many people who had been in jobs and like had been promoted all through their jobs. And they, they are like, oh, I just, I, I know I have to change. This has to change. And they still weren't sure of their own skills. Rooster never has that problem. <laughs> Rooster is like, why, yes, I am the, you know, I am the king of this, you know, henny penny thing going on around here. You know, look at my harem. Look at, look at all of this I have. It is all my kingdom. And they're just the cutest little things, especially Banty roosters. Bantam roosters, oh my God. My God, they are the cutest little things. So take some time, consider what your 
skills are and and be gentle with yourself when you assess your skills. And I think you'll find that if you will be, um, I don't know, like if you'll just be unbiased because it's you, I think you're going to find, <clears throat> pardon me, you're going to have a lot bigger skill set and more solid skill set than you might think, which is great because when you jump into something, like, you know, you're a fire sign, a bonsai, and there you go. And that will be great. Remember, Aries is the ram. And there's a reason for that. Ram, ram, ram. But the good news is, is that Aries has those horns. So while you're a doer, you're also using those horns as an antenna to connect with the divine and download divine messages. So understand whatever this thing is that you're just like, I, 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 I gotta do it. I gotta be me. It's divinely inspired. You're not thinking of it in a vacuum. It's not your imagination. It's not wishful thinking, like it's a calling. So I really, really think that um, it it would go very well for you if you just started to pursue it. Now, some of the other, you know, Aries traits, personalities, characteristics, that kind of thing, you know, it, the Ram thing, the good news of that is Aries, they, they do not have a tendency to avoid things at all. And that's good because whatever this thing is you want to do, whether it's a business, it's a job, it's a relationship, it's a whatever, you, you know, listen, the hard stuff gets hard. That's why it's, you know, it takes people to, to be the people that can make the hard calls and follow through with the hard things. It's hard for other people to do, like setting boundaries, hiring, firing, um, even just starting and sustaining a business, uh, being the one in a relationship that comes and says, hey... I don't think this is working out. Could we work on this? Or do, I mean, it can be a million different things, right? Um, but you're the one that can do that. And so that's going to harken back to the very beginning of this video, which for, you know, uh, you know, in, in this tarot reading for, for you, it, when you start to marry the rooster with it, and again, that's really about stepping into your voice and finding your voice. You may be an Aries that has had no problems crowing before, but that crow isn't even what's going to come flying out of your throat chakra. You ain't seen nothing yet. Bow, 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 baby. You have not seen anything yet, if you'll allow it. Now, when you've got Aries, you're dealing with the, the, the planet of Mars, right? Okay, and that's the, gar the god of war. So be really careful that when you are trying to accomplish something, yeah, you want to keep ramming ahead, ramming ahead, ramming ahead. And like the fella in the Three of Wands tarot card, you, you don't have to ram ahead so hard that you ram other people out of your path. Because the path, that, that's it. The path, oh my gosh. Okay, that's what, okay, I've been thinking, I've been, if you guys keep seeing me twitch, I'm trying to listen to what's coming in. And I was trying to get that download, and that's what it is. Okay, listen, rams are like goats. Rams are goats, right? Okay. So <clears throat> you only need that much room to gain a foothold. That's all you need. And you can step up and up and up. Like you've seen the goats that like climb up a mountain, but their whole, like the side of their body is pressed to the mountain and they climb up like that. My gosh. And they're like a bajillion D miles up. You're there. And whatever this thing is that you're considering, like if you took a pool of a hundred people and you, you know, everybody who wanted to do the same thing had a same similar background to you, similar training, similar experience. You're still going to stand head and shoulders above the rest of the people. And you've got to be willing to trust that. And you've got to be willing to acknowledge that even within yourself and quit, you know, listen, quit, quit crying. Though, but I feel egotistical. There's, there's nothing egotistical about understanding your own worth and your own value says the person says the person who still i promised myself on this day january 1st i promised myself i would start my videos out with hey you know subscribe to my youtube channel hit that i mm. <clears throat> oh i, I can i'll get there but it but i do know what i'm good at and no one can take that away from me even if it's a naysayer and i'm like prove it and if they can't prove it, I'm like, that's what I thought. So there's, there's, that might seem a little attitudinal, especially for like the spiritual crowd. I'm a deeply spiritual person, deep, deep, deep down in my soul, down in my heart. 
But, uh, you know, listen, we live in the real world. And in the real world, it is important for us to understand our own value. And Aries does that really, really well. They just don't, they just, they're, they're really good at drawing boundaries, really good. But this is calling for you to step to a new level, a higher level, and understand that you already are at that higher level. Okay, so when you take a look at um, even just the even just the symbol of Aries, it's tied to the Greek myth about the golden fleece. And the story goes, you know, Poseidon was the father of the ram, and it was a gift to uh, A Aedes. I can never pronounce this guy's name. And it's this whole thing about a golden fleece. Well. When you start talking about um, anything that's gold and you think that, well, this is a fire sign, remember, as hard as headed as you might be with those horns ramming everything, gold can be melted and formed back into any shape that you want. So during this time, remember that your symbol, that your zodiac symbol comes from a, a color that is, um, can be, I guess, I guess you could say it's symbolic meaning, definitely is about alchemy, definitely is about shape-shifting, which seems a little unusual, but that's why you gotta like dig down deep in all this symbolism, you guys, because it's easy to, it's easy to get all the stuff that's out there on the internet that's like, you know, everybody has the same nonsense to, well, it's not nonsense, but everybody gets the same stuff to say. Okay, how many times can you read about Aries? But when you start digging down deep, you know, like when you consider the metaphysical associations of Aries, right? So we know that the key, um, you know, the motto for Aries is I am, the planet is Mars, the birthstone is aquamarine in March, it's diamond in April. It corresponds numerologically to the number nine. So you've got the number nine, you know, numerology symbolism in there. Its element is fire. The color is red. Its day is Tuesday. The chakra is the solar plexus chakra, which, you know, um, its Chinese zodiac sign is the twin, which makes total sense to me. And, um, you know, it, it's just, it, it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. And sometimes the first thing that you see about a zodiac sign or in a reading when somebody does, you know, a tarot reading or whatever, you're, you're, it, it, it might not seem that it's meant for you, but I am a huge believer that if you're watching this video, something in this video, <clears throat> even if it's one little golden nugget, something in this video is meant for you in a profound way that's going to carry you for your zodiac sign through January 2021. And it's the thing that you're starting the year off with. So I really ask you to take special consideration for it. So, okay. Um, I hope your tarot reading was fun today and you got something from it and it was helpful. And now I'll do all the marketing stuff I got to do and I'll stop apologizing for it one day. But um, I really do hope you pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. It, it is such a profound deck. And you guys, I want to thank you again. The stories and the emails and the, oh my gosh, the stuff I got from you guys about your achievements as readers, as um, you know, divination people, as um, shaman, as healers is everything that you are having by tapping into the, just the energy and the medicine of the animal allies. I was like, gosh, I wish I could share these stories out in public. And some of them I have, some people have given me permission. Um, and so I'll hope to get more permission because these stories, I've been doing this for 30 years and they still make my jaw hit the floor. So happy birthday, Aries. I'll see you next month for the Spirit Animal Scopes.